Tutankhamun's tomb was found 100 years ago, but have you heard about his dark side and the curse of the pharaohs? Five months after the tomb was opened, the man who bankrolled the search died suddenly. Lord Carnarvon suffered blood poisoning after being bitten by a mosquito. Other peculiar deaths then followed, including British archaeologist Hugh Evelyn White, who shot himself in 1924 and left a note saying, I knew there was a curse on me. And in 1925, things got really, really weird. So Bruce Ingham was gifted a mummified hand from the tomb, wearing a scarab bracelet reading, Cursed be he who moves my body. <laughs> Great gift. Soon after after receiving it, his house burnt down and when he rebuilt it, it was hit by a flood. He then got rid of the hand and all was well. Until Richard Bethel, the second person to enter the tomb, was found smothered to death in 1929 and Sir Archibald Douglas Reed fell sick the day after x-raying the mummy, perishing soon after. Science has had its say to try and debunk the curse. The toxic mould in the tomb doesn't explain the fires, curse-ridden death notes and evil paperweights. But the curse did help sell a huge number of newspapers across the world in the 1920s. What do you think?